All right, so uh, let's take this thing for a real world spin in my yard here. So we're gonna do the easy mode. Uh, we're just, let's just say we're at the range and you know we know what the distance is, we've lazed it or it's a known distance and we just wanna get an idea for what our target should be. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and click on easy mode and let's say we know it's 559 yards, great. Now we need to set up the target. And this is gonna walk you through a couple of things. So the first thing is we need to capture the environment. And you notice here it says, you know, make sure you do it about every 30 minutes if you want the most accurate data. So we're gonna start capture. So swing and check until the temperature is stable. It says 84, we're just gonna, you know, kinda do this and make sure that that sensor is getting a good reflection of what the, what the data is, okay? And uh, now it says 81, so great. Let's hit, we're gonna go ahead and hit enter. Now we want to capture the uh, back of unit at target. So we're going to go ahead and pretend the target's down that way. Okay, point back of unit into wind. Now this is important because this isn't where your target is, this is where the wind's coming from. And I'm gonna show you something that um, I learned from them and, and it's a pretty good trick as to how to determine where the wind is really coming from. Now, some people will just move this around until their impeller starts going nuts. That is actually the opposite of what you really want to do. What you really want to do is you want to move until your impeller stops moving. Now that's going to be, let's see here. So we're gonna move until it dies off. So see how Let's see if I can find it. There we go. So it is just, uh, I got a pretty good wind here today, but see how right about here is where it's, it's sort of dying off. I can, I can move it just a little bit and it'll slow down. So from there, I want to go 90 degrees into the wind. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and do this and there's my wind and the camera is making the impeller look a lot different, obviously than it is in person. But now we're going to go ahead and hit enter. Okay, and now you notice here, it says end after five seconds. So we're gonna put it back into the wind. I just, you couldn't read it where it was. So we're gonna put it back into the, the direction of the wind and we're gonna hit end capture after five seconds here. So we're going to give it just a few more minutes or seconds rather. So you can't see it, but the impeller's spinning pretty good right now. And you can, you can see my range flag, it's moving okay. So it's been five seconds, now we're gonna hit enter. And now unless I want to modify something, I'm going to hit go. And now it's gonna say, okay, make sure you adjust your target to match, great. So now for 559 yards, my come up would be roughly 10.28 minutes and then it's going to calculate my crosswind as well. So it's gonna tell me to hold about a quarter left. All right, so that's all there is to the easy mode. It's very simple, uh, it's very intuitive. It's obviously not as easy to show you in person because of glare and whatnot, uh, but uh, that's all it is to picking up a target. Uh, now, if I go into something else like, you know, weather, uh, now I'm out here and I can scroll through and look at, you know, these different uh, items uh, that I had here and uh, I can pull up, you know, my actual wind speed at any given time. So let's see if I can get you to read that here. So 1.6, 1.8, You know, and again, if I come over here, you'll see it basically drop off. See, the impellers basically move. So again, you find 90 degrees to your headwind and it makes it a lot better to get a, a uniform uh, wind coming at you. Uh, anyway, uh, you can go back in and change it to the ballistics mode, and uh, you know you can recalculate a couple things in here. Now here, it knows what you've been doing, uh, and it's going to uh, take that into account. And again, if I go to my uh, target card, uh, now it's recalculating based on what is going on with the wind. Uh, and so now I have the exact same uh, calculations based on what the data is out here. So it's really, really uh, important that you get a good reading through this. And it's important that you follow the directions until you're really used to using it. Uh, but you know, you talk about making things easy. 
I, I don't know where else you can get a single unit like this that'll be as feature packed, uh, interact with your phone, let you work up targets ahead of time, uh, everything that you need to be a successful shooter. So uh, if you're in the market for something like this, I don't think this can be beat.